the pearl is not just about limud atayr, which is phenomenal, phenomenal thing. Kim chayenu, the Torah kadosh talmud atayr can again pull up. In our pearl, we want to see the transformational power of atayr. That when a person learns atayr, he's not just a limud atayr, a bigger talmud chacham, but he becomes a better husband and a better father and a better daven and more honest in his work and his business. To be transformed, not just to be a loymid Torah, but the one who lives the Torah. A person can hear the word koil and sometimes feel intimidated. I haven't learned in yeshiva, it's not for me. And the truth is you walk in and you see the environment and a person automatically, their neshama reconnects with the Torah immediately. It's hard to measure exactly how I've been transformed by the Kolel because it has been in so many ways, but I can point out that learning with Rabbi Singer on a weekly basis has greatly affected my personality and outlook on life. From Rabbi Blazer, I learned how a Jew should run his business according to Torah and how to deal with people the right way. And of course, learning with Rabbi Provarsky has brought my Torah learning to the whole new level. A person's neshama knows that this is the mazah and this is the food they need in order to transform themselves and elevate themselves. Because the Torah Kedusha goes inside as metayim and sanctifies the human being. When I was approached here at Bzelig to come learn the kolo, I told him I was a little too tired after a long day at work and he told me just come try it. Once a week commit to. Once a week became twice a week, became every day of the week from 15 minutes to 45 minutes. I kept on telling my blessing of a singer I need a chavrusa that I can relate to more. And a singer and a Reb Lezer texted me after one of their trips to Lakewood and said, we have your guy. Finding the right chavrusa, the right chabura, the right shear is a huge avoid in the pill. Brian Pavalski primarily and also the rest of us put in a lot of time to meet each person's individual needs. I still can't forget the time I come to David Meyer at 10 o'clock in the cola. And Mr. David comes over to me and says, Yosef, did you learn today? I said, not enough. We sat down with the Gemara, I think for 15, 20, 25 minutes, not exactly sure how long. But it made such a difference in my life. I can't tell you how many years later it has been, but now we learn every single night. Not only am I not too tired to come learn in the Kolo, I look forward for it every single night. It transformed my daily schedule, it transformed my Ava Satira, and it completely transformed my family. Bringing in Limud Atayra into someone's life transforms them, it, it elevates them, it brings them into a place of ruchnius, of spirituality that they could not have attained otherwise. When I uh, saw the call of success in NMB, I had a vision to bring that success into my community, to Aventura Isle, and that was the birth of our weekly night call uh, with Rabbi Blazer. Thanks to Rabbi Blazer, a unique approach Geonut, and even a multi-language speaker, English, Hebrew, and Spanish, he was able to bring a very interesting topics into the night column. And through this, they got a connection. They got curiosity to learn more, curiosity to come more, and the class become very successful. If I look back over the last 10 years with the column as my main vehicle of code, I came to realize that true change come to a serious, dedicated Limud Torah like the Kolel is offering. If you put Torah as the focus and you grow candle by candle, you can see a big change. Whether someone never had a formal yeshiva background or whether someone is a younger man learning in Kolel, their connection to Torah will uplift them and their entire family. When the first group of younger light came down from Lakewood to start the Kolel here in North Miami Beach, we knew we were coming to impact the Limud Torah in the community. We, what we did not realize was the tremendous effect, the tremendous transformation that we would have, the staging that we would have, that we would grow from the community. Eventually I realized that every opportunity I had to, to teach and to give to the community was really an opportunity for my growth. At the Kilo, our goal is to raise up our own in the light, to make them into Mabitsay Teira, to leaders in their own right. I felt that there was a need and a drive to create a system of learning that was more intense and had more geschmack that would talk to the local Balabata. So we introduced Kenyan Amasechta that would give a regular Balabata of every walk of life, stripe and color and level of learning 
the opportunity to learn with intensity and geschmack. I was so taken by the response of the Balabata that I have implemented this method of learning into my own learning. And ultimately, the result of all this is that today we have 50 Balabatim learning Kinyin HaMasechta, learning seriously with the Gishmak. I'm fascinated when I look around and I look at the original group of Yungle Light that came with us 12 years ago and how each one has grown in his own personal life and the tremendous impact that each one has had on this community. Recently someone asked me, I want to move to South Florida. Can you tell me the differences on each community? And that I'm not sure about other communities. But our community is a real growth-oriented community. And if you can move to North Miami Beach, you're going to grow. So the Seattle Tishmael, we should be inspired and changed. Walk out of this room tonight, different people, realizing the transformational power of the table. The power that our Kailas had in touching and transforming so many lives is only due to the tremendous outpouring of love of the community in embracing the Kola. By your partnership with the Kola, by your involvement with the Kola, whether it's learning, whether it's giving of your skill, of your time, or any other way, your involvement with the Kola on any level makes us all partners in this tremendous mission that we have in helping to transform lives through time.